This is Brian of Triphonic, and today I'm going to talk about making a guitar feedback type sound um, using FM8 and FM synthesis. Here's what it sounds like. sounds like uh, guitar feedback, so like if you were actually playing guitar through an amplifier and you approach the speaker, um, sometimes that will f uh, cause the pickup to feedback um, and, uh, and then you get these different tones that ring out, um, you know, you hear it a lot in rock music, but you can do similar things in FM8. So let me show you how to approach making that sort of sound. Um, so first what I'll do is I'll just have a carrier and modulator um, and um, I'm just going to start with the carrier here. I'm going to set this to a ratio of 5. Uh, so this would be the fifth harmonic. Um, so the first being, so it's much lower and then I can go up to the fifth here. Um, and then I'm going to set the modulator here to a ratio of 0.5. So, um, um, and then I'll route them together. So notice that as I increase the level of the modulator here, that we're hearing a lower sound, lower pitch center, and when I bring this level down, so that's, that already sounds kind of like guitar feedback. So what's happening here, and what's interesting, is that because our modulator is a much lower ratio, 0.5 compared to 5 for our carrier, um, we're not perceiving the carrier as the fundamental frequency or the tone center of this sound. Um, so. Um, and the reason for that is uh, when you have a ratio, like typically when you're making a sound, um, for you to perceive your carrier as the tone, tonal center of, of the sound, your modulator has to be um, at least twice the ratio um, of your carrier unless, um, unless the ratio is one. So it can be one to one and that works. Um, otherwise, if your carrier is, is a higher... Uh, ratio than your modulator, um, you're going to hear the modulator uh, contributing to the, the tonal center and the fundamental frequency. So, and you can hear that here. This, this low tone that we're hearing, that sounds like that's the main pitch that we're hearing, but as I bring this level down, we hear that higher sound, which is really just if I get rid of uh, this modulator altogether, that's what we're hearing from our carrier. So the cool thing is we put an envelope on on this modulator here and um, we make it shorter than the envelope uh, for our carrier and then it's going to sound like it's uh, feeding back. So check this out. Um, just have this decay. So it sounds a little bit like a, a guitar feedback, and so what I'm going to do is a few little tweaks here. Make this a little more intense. Not that intense though. And I can go and play with our envelopes a little bit. So, um, these both kind of fade in a little bit. Have these decay a bit longer here, and then I'm going to unlink these so that I can have the independent envelope shapes. So that's pretty expressive. If we keep going, that get something like. The only difference is happening here from the last thing I showed you. Um, all I modified um, 
is I just added some effects to it um, and uh, in this unison mode here um, I have six voices playing each note, it's detuned and panned and then I have some effects happening, cabinet emulator uh, boosting the highs a little bit, a little bit of reverb and delay So hopefully that gives you an overview of uh, FM8 and FM synthesis and some ideas about approaching sounds and I hope you enjoy.